Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Electron Retracts. Today we're going to be talking about retract killers and Electron's new manual controller. Let's get started. Okay, believe it or not, the biggest retract killer out there isn't actually your landings. It's actually connecting a battery directly to your retract whilst you're putting the model together or taking it apart again. Let's be honest, hands up who's done that. Okay, fine, we've done it in the past, let's not do it again. Why? Okay, we all know it's a bit of a pain having to reconnect the wing back to the model, turn the model on with the radio on, go to the radio, flip the switch, just to take to put the wheel in or out. So it's a lot easier to connect the battery. Yeah, fine. But all the clever bits for the retracts are in the controller. They're not in here. This is just a motor, a gearbox, and then the swivelly bit. So if we put current directly into here, and it reaches either fully extended or fully retracted, or for any reason it gets stuck halfway, that motor isn't going to stop it's going to try and keep on going, which means that it's going to burn out, which means you're going to have to send your retract back to the factory, which means that you're not flying this weekend. So, Electron Retracts have brought out their new manual controller. Think of it as a servo tester. All it does is, with a separate battery, you can control the retract manually just two little buttons to deploy and to retract the gear. Now, I'm going to actually fix the battery directly onto this so that I can keep it in my transmitter box with me at all times and whenever I need to use it, just pull it out. It's as easy as pulling out the battery in itself with the added security that you're not going to break anything. So, I actually have some Velcro here. Now, on the back of this, there is a warning. The warning says, make sure that you have the controller set to the right type of retract before you connect a retract to it. Now, we'll get back to that in a moment. Why is that? Because Electron currently has three different retracts available the ER30, the ER40, and the ER50. Now, depending on which one you have, they work with slightly different voltages and cutoff points. Now, as standard, the manual controller comes set at the factory for the smallest retract, the ER30. Now, you can check that because on the actual controller itself, you have the three diagrams for these little two switches. Depending on which retract you have, be it the 30, the 40 or the 50, it tells you which position those switches need to be in for that retract. It comes as standard on the ER30, but this is where it gets fun. It will actually work with any retract on that setting. So despite the fact that they've given you that option, they actually recommend not to change it. Why is that? It's quite simple really. All of the retracts will work on the ER30 setting. The larger ones just won't have quite as much torque. But that said, you're only retracting or deploying the retracts on the ground without any air pressure, without any kind of friction to slow it down. So even on the low power setting, that should be more than enough for your retract to function properly. If it doesn't, chances are it's because you've got some dirt in there or you've bent something previously, in which case you may want to have a closer look anyway. But if you do want to use the higher power settings, by all means, just flip those two little switches to match whatever the setting requires for the ER30, 40 or 50. How does it actually work? Well, just like a servo tester. You connect the battery into it, the LED tells you that it's on. We now plug in the retract, 
checking the positive and the negative, both for the battery and the retract, of course. And that's it. If I now hit retract, until I let go, it's going to retract, and as long as I keep press down deploy, it's going to deploy. That's literally all there is to it. Two buttons. But save so much time and it guarantees that you're not going to cause any damage while retracting or extending your retract without going through the controller that's inside your plane. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. Come back to Electron Retracts for anything that you need and we'll see you in the next video.